hiatus. I was not feeling good the last few days, so I'm about 90%. <laughs> well enough to do reactions. We'll just put it like that. Um, new music today. New music. This one is Nisus COVID-23. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into here, um, but I am looking forward to hearing new music on the platform right now. And so I'm recording it without any filters. If um, it blocks for whatever reason, I load it again with the filter so it'll, it'll go through and then I'll um, upload it to Patreon unedited. And if you're following me there, it's tier level two and up. Um, you don't have to, it's just an option if you want it to see it unedited. It's up to you. Um, you guys already know I show ways to um, promote our artists on this uh, channel. So I will link ways for you to show love and support in the description box below. And you can go to their page, check it out, um, you know, help them grow their channel if you so choose to do so. I don't know much about Mises, and I hope that I'm saying this correctly. It sounds like, like, if you were to rhyme Jesus with an M, it would be Jesus Mises. So Mises, <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. If I'm not saying it correctly, don't come after me. Just let me know how to pronounce it in the comments below. Um, I think, you know, COVID did quite a number on the whole world. And I, I think it was taken to extremes. And I, I caught it, you know, I, I had it. Um, last year I had it and it was not fun, but also I think it was taken to extremes at the same time. It's just how I feel about it. And, and that's with having had it. So anyway, um, sun is just doing what it wants to do today, guys. So I'm sorry. I'm trying not to like let it get too far into, um, like I'm trying to like sit in a way where it's not like completely like shining too too much on my face, but it's probably going to on this song. So I apologize. Talk to the sun. I have no control over that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm, I'm super excited for new music. COVID-23, here we go again, roll the show again. Here we go again, roll the show again, COVID-23. How many people? Yeah, yeah. Here we go again, roll the show again, COVID-23. How many cowards we got in this country? Guess we gon' see. Oh, geez. Here we go again. Yeah. Here we, yeah. Before he's even started singing, we're already talking about some controversial things, right? This guy just finished getting the shot and he's already on the floor dead. COVID-23, how many cowards we got in this country, guess we gon' see, I ain't taking that shot if you put a loaded gun in me, blood clot after blood clot and you call it conspiracy, I'd rather die on my feet than live my life on my knees, I'd rather die in defeat than surrender over my freedoms, gotta lock me up before you ever lock me down, and I ain't going peacefully, matter of fact, man, I ain't going breathing over my cold dead bodies, how you taking these keys, beat you full of shells if you try to stop my family from me, made in America, but everything we Mises. That's his name. Okay. Um. He's saying a lot here. We all went through that. We couldn't see our families. They were trying to force us to, you know. I'm like, no, no, thank you. Um. And again, I caught it. I had it last year. And I was like, no, I'll pass. Thank you. I just, it, here's the thing. I... A majority of my career was spent in healthcare, taking something like that without proper testing, um, without proper studies, 
without knowing what the long-term effects are, what the mortality rate was going to be. I, I didn't trust it. If you would have said like, we've been studying this and it's like there was years and years of documented proof, evidence, supporting documentation, all of that. And it was favorable, I'd have taken it. But I don't blindly go into something and not take it and just take that like there's the, no I just I can't um you know they're they're I, I'm funny about stuff like that because you're putting that in my body and I, I don't really fully understand what you're putting in my body so no <laughs> that's why I, that was my personal decision you guys do whatever it is you want to do if you took it you had your reasons and I respect that fully Fully, fully. I respect your decision to do that. That's why we live in this country, so that you can choose what it is you want to do. I chose not to. That was just my decision. And that was just because I am a very observant person. And my observation was that this wasn't going to be, something was wrong with it. It wasn't going to be safe. And the whole entire thing was a lie from the beginning, right from like how it even started was a lie from the beginning. And so, like, if they're going to lie about where it actually came from, right, then they're going to lie about how to fix it. That's that's how I look at things, and I'm, I'm very observant. Um, and I had people in my own family. Oops. I had people in my own family. Oh, sorry. We'll rewind that. I had people in my own family that was um, arguing with me about it. And then six months later, Truth came out and I told, looked at them and I said, I told you this didn't make sense. And so, um, they apologized to me too, which was kind of amazing. Um, and then they started doing a lot more research and they came to the same conclusions I did without me having to say anything. And I didn't even know they were doing research on it. So, yeah, like I, I have issues with, with stuff like this. I just don't rely on. I don't rely on the government to know what's best for me. I just don't. I'm sorry, let me introduce myself. My friends call me Mises. Why? Cause I'm out here doing me, just walking with Jesus. And I ain't preaching the Bible, but if I was you, I would read it. Cause I see what's written in it, playing out on those feet. But what I know, I'm just an average Joe that lived on the street. And I don't know no better, cause no letters like MMD follow my name. So I'm insane and don't have freedom of speech. The point of obvious hypocrisies of people who lead us. Like how the a whole lot there so you see like on the the the, <laughs> the side like all the signs and everything it says 2024 20, you know the thing um yeah this is true that was such a bad decision that was a bad decision i i think people had made the right decision but someone was installed. I do truly believe that. I mean, there's just too much stuff that doesn't make sense about it. And like I said, I'm a very observant person and it just, it never made sense. The, the shot didn't make sense. The, the origins didn't make sense. The timing didn't make sense. The way that it was handled didn't make sense. Um, and on one hand, you had all these people 
whoever they were protesting and tearing up businesses. Um, but they were called mostly peaceful without a care in the world for any restrictions. And then on the other side, another group with a different ideology doing the exact same thing and then they're made to be monsters. So there's a whole lot wrong here. And if you guys don't see it, I don't know what to tell you, but <clears throat> the powers that be want us divided instead of coming together in community with one another. Because if they see that we are in community with one another, then the plan that they have for us fails. And the plan that they have for us is never good because they want ultimate control. And you guys got to see that. I don't know how else to say that. You guys have to see that. If you look around and you really pay attention <clears throat> and see the tit for tat that's going on here, No, the powers that be don't have our best intentions. They have their best intentions revolved around them. And you guys have got to start paying attention to it. And he's really kind of just pointing that out. He is. He's pointing it out. I mean, really, really hard to like, this is a hard listen. It really is because there, it makes people uncomfortable. But I think that was the whole point. I guess he got a vote for every time he gave kids the creep. So get me started, I'm about to write a dictator three. An absolute embarrassment that Biden ain't been in peace. This dude don't have a clue about where he at while giving a speech. I almost lost my gun. And then he goes and sits on a beach. He's a disgrace in every way that he could possibly be. Can't stay awake, this dude's a puppet fuck, just falling asleep. We get it burned, he's turned to four years, man, it's bad. so we can't even stand on his feet. He'd have a heart attack if he stays. And God might bless you, but the only prayer you can come in from me. Conspiracy. I ain't taking that shot if you put a loaded gun to me. How many cowards we got in this country? Guess we gon' see. Here we go again. Roll the show again. COVID-23. That was something. I don't know what's, hap what's happening December 8th. Is he coming out with like an album or something? Do we need to follow it? Because we will. I got to say, I don't hate this song. I think this song is saying a lot. And I'm thinking it really, I mean, and here's the thing, whether you're left or right, it doesn't matter. Neither side has, has your interest, your best interest at heart. Neither side does. They have their own interests. Remember that. We really need a, a huge redo of the system. Not of the Constitution, of the system. We have a two-party system, and it's the most two, dominant two-party system this country has. No one else can even, like, wedge their way in. You're either one or you're the other. And it's purposefully designed that way to keep us divided. Imagine that. And if you're paying attention and you're watching, you'll see that it's truthful. Like, they, they want us to be divided. Anyway, I can go on a tangent about this, but I'm not, you know, I'm going to leave that here. So if you guys like the content, you already know what to do. I hope you consider doing it. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So live your lives fabulously. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.